Hey, Marcus Conti. Sole plaintiff in Conti versus DSNY. Ah, March seven, March seven. I'm just gonna keep saying I'm gonna I'm gonna make ten videos saying the same thing. Man. It's Sunday, uh, February twenty. What does that say? Twenty fifth, February twenty fifth, Sunday morning. I'm just gonna go out for a walk and do my uh, walking, my walking meditation speeching speaking. <laughs> but it's raining outside. I'll go outside in a little while. Anyway, it's nice to be um, it's nice to be back. Uh, with a little bit of a regularity here, uh, you know, doing my thing, and um, I don't know. I just wanted to again reiterate the dates: March seven, two thousand eighteen, at two p.m. at uh, Supreme Court. Conti vs. DSNY will be heard at the Appellate Division, First Department, Madison Avenue. If you if you're in New York, come on down, and. Um, the City Council Oversight Committee that oversees the Department of Sanitation and all sanitation activity in New York City in terms of how it's funded uh, will hold a hearing about um, solid waste management on March 13th at 1 p.m. at City Hall. All the links are down below. Links are down below. You know, it's funny when you don't um, when you don't broadcast regularly. I was watching some of my videos recent, and I noticed I'm cutting my words short. I'm not as I'm not as sharp as I I'm not as as sharp as I once was. Where I'm, <laughs> so I'm going to try to be and try to be clear, try to be crystal clear. So so what's going on in the news? There's still still um I don't know. I I perceive it as a a, uh, a crises of sorts in terms of uh, mainstream media just repeating the same lies over and over again about Russia. Uh, I was surfing on uh, Twitter and I, I I saw some you know some psychopath. They're trying to say this guy was trying to. I'm not even going to say his name. I don't remember his name. But I looked and he had like you know thirty thousand subscribers on Twitter. Who knows if they're real? But he was saying that. He was a, a Hillary. Cl I voted for Hillary. Don't blame me. And then he goes on to say, most of his posts are anti Bernie Sanders, saying that that um, the crowds. He's shown pictures of the crowds with Bernie Sanders during his campaign in 2016, and saying that they were bought and paid for by Russia. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's so. It's so unbelievable that we've come full circle uh, uh, to this, where as the midterm elections approach in 2018, you know, I was saying it all along. Look, I, I haven't actually been live uh, <clears throat> for more than a year, but even before that, I was I was blogging quite often, and I was saying that that uh, you know we're we're the, the mainstream media, in conjunction with the deep state, the CIA, the FBI, the NSA, to varying degrees, have been gaslighting the American public into believing the Russian narrative to cover for the fact that the Democratic Party, their kind of, you know, uh, you know, that's how they express themselves through the media, right? That's how they grab their power. That's how they seize power using the media, manipulating the media. Um, <laughs> lost my train of thought. But anyway, that's that. Oh, that we were being gaslighted. That we were being severely gaslighted on the mainstream media into believing that the Democratic Party had nothing to do with stealing the 2016 elections. Show no, no, no. The 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 era in the. Uh, and the exit polling being off 15, 20 percent, 13 percent. No, no, no. That was that wasn't. That's not what you think it was. There's nothing to see there, right? And, uh, all the purging of the votes here in New York, uh, the manipulations, the close calls in various blue states, the two million votes in California that were uh, uh, thrown in the garbage, not counted, and on and on. Arizona, where they removed the the voting booths, right? 
it's total manipulation you know it's total um it's total fake fake elections democratic primary elections are fake jared and elizabeth beck the two attorneys down in florida who um executed the dnc uh, dnc fraud lawsuit uh proved it we got they got them to admit they got the lawyers the attorneys for the dnc to admit that the elections are in fact rigged not just with superdelegates but the insiders pick the candidate and then all across the country do everything in their power to make sure that that candidate is the official pick right only when there's i mean bernie sanders was so close to overcoming the the um the margin of cheating but still even even there you saw him he was on tv with you know stadiums full of people he came to new york and there was you know, 28,000 people out in Washington Square Park. You know, it was amazing. And and um, he still couldn't overcome the margin of cheating, you know, with the Democratic Party. But uh, somehow Trump did. Trump did it, and uh, we, we should comment, uh, compliment Trump for doing that. I did see something that was interesting that Trump said, and uh, I, I got I to gotta, I gotta respect him. You know, I was saying all along that the uh, the problem – you know, gun violence in America, right? It's not, it's not necessarily the gun, you know, it's not, it's not the gun that kills people. It's the, it's the, the perception of people, the, the, it's, it's what's in their heart that causes you, causes a person to want to act out or want to kill someone else or become a martyr of sorts, right? Like you can pick up a guitar in the 60s, you could pick up a guitar, you know, you borrow mine and you go out and you, you play rock and roll and you express your thoughts and you use your critical thinking to come up with creative uh, uh, poetry of sorts. And and you can get your, your message out there and you become a, you know, you could become a rock star or a, uh, a, uh, a voice of the people. And, you know, today that's increasingly more difficult if not impossible right to do there is youtube right you can do what i'm doing you get out there and speak your mind and be rigorously honest and, and the crowd will form around it if it's if it's authentic and such right um but what we have you know what we have is a culture of uh of of uh you know exalting violence and and praising violence and and um you know saluting it you know and, and then what i'm talking about is movies and and in the uh in these these you know these war games you know kids sitting there with the war games what they are there's all this going on and i heard i was watching fake news because i told you i have to sometimes i'm in a in an area where there's no way to avoid it. And I heard Trump say it. He said, what about Hollywood and the, all the, you know, all the, the movies promoting violence and, you know, gun violence and, and such, you know, and, or the, the you know, the, 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 the game, the gamers that, uh, that program kids, uh, uh, to violence. And, you know, he put it out there on liberal television and, you know, naturally right after that, CNN lined up a bunch of kids to say, I've been playing games my whole life. I've been playing war games my whole life. I, I, I'm not violent. I'm not dangerous. I'm not... Blah, 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 and so, you know, um, that's all. I mean, I, I saw Trump. He said something. He said something good and positive. And, I, and it, you know, he's... Uh, his eyes are open in that respect, right? I, I believe him. I believe what he's... I believe that that is the way to go in terms of... Um, Making us a less uh, violent, a uh, more compassionate uh, 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 society. You know, I'm, I, I've said it sometimes that I uh, that I'm a vegan. You know, and I I I, um, I have a whole side of me that is uh, anti-animal. You know, a animal cruelty. Not just you know, I have three cats running around. You don't see them in the videos, but they're here. Um, you know, I I, I don't. But I've also been on farms, and I've I've met cows, and I've met pigs, and I've met chickens, and you know horses, and uh, there there's there's 
you know, stellar creatures and they have friends and they have social lives and they have, uh, they have uh, awareness and, 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 um, and, uh, compassion and they, they're, they're, you know, they're real beings, you know, not far away from, uh, from humans, from us. And, uh, that's something I might want to start to talk about. I know it turns a lot of people off and, uh, I'm not a, uh, you know, the type of vegan that's going to call you a murderer, but, you know, we have to, we have to look at why, why there is this outbreak in violence. You know, you can't dispute the, you know, cruelty that animals are put through. I mean, chickens are probably the most, you know, tortured creature on earth, you know, most tortured species forced into cages to lay eggs. The, the you know, dairy industry impregnating cows against their will and you know, imprisoning them, taking their babies, killing the babies, stealing the milk, slaughtering them, hanging them upside down, shooting them in the head. Can't be right, you know. So, anyway, enjoy your Sunday. Peace out.